One of my most viewed videos on YouTube is currently my Peter Hale vs Scott McCall video, which sits at roughly 19k views, which is honestly insane. Now with the new release of Team of the Movie, I feel it's time to revisit that video, because now there is a more experienced Scott McCall, and will he power scale the same way he did to an Alpha Peter Hale back when he was 17? Let's talk about it. But before I begin, do me a favour and leave a like on this video and comment down below right now who you think is going to win. Then, after you finish watching this video, I want to know if you're right. But yeah, let's get into it. Starting off with strength. Now, just because I didn't do it in the last video, I'm going to also be talking about the bestial form Peter Hale. Because as a regular alpha, Scott McCall will take every single feat in this video. So, we're talking about the bestial form version of Peter, which scales a lot higher than most people think. But, starting off with strength. I'm going to give this to Scott McCall just purely because he has experience fighting with a beast, and the beast himself even credited Scott McCall for his strength. That's when he was 17 years old. Now as an adult, he has a good old old man strength, not to mention, again, he has more experience being an alpha and a werewolf, which will legitimately overpower a bestial form Peter Hale. In terms of strength, we've seen Scott McCall hold his own against a lot of alphas when he was 17, Garrett Douglas, not so much Decalion, but he's able to rise up and ignore Decalion's alpha control, which, yes, is a power feat in itself, but it also scales up to strength, in my personal opinion, and he's even known to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an alpha Derek. Also, Ennis as well. It's all Ennis was like a base level alpha, I say he's like around Derek's strength, but Scott McCall in season three was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. When it comes to strength from a bestial form, Peter, we didn't see much apart from him throwing Derek Hale across the park, across the car park in the school. But Scott McCall has also done similar feats with two different characters: Derek Hale in season one as a beta, and Isaac Leahy in season two as a beta. He's able to throw Derek through a wall and across a house, and then Isaac Leahy across an ice skating rink, which I'd say estimate is the same distance from where Peter threw Derek. Derek in the car park, and I say it's roughly the same as how far Scott threw Isaac. But that's when Scott McCall was a beta, not to mention he has 17 years now of experiences being a werewolf where he's learned to control his abilities, not to mention the stuff he learned during the show. When it comes to strength, I can definitely see an alpha Scott McCall overpowering a bestial form Peter. Yes, size matters in a fight, and size does correlate to strength, but going off, you know, physical strength, of course, bestial form alpha Peter would definitely be stronger, just going off by brute, like, physical strength here, but that's super supernatural side of Scott McCall is a lot stronger than an alpha bestial form, Peter. That might sound confusing, let me just rephrase it, alright? That bestial form would be physically stronger than a base form Peter, the same way it would be physically stronger than a base form Scott McCall, but because Scott McCall is a very, very powerful werewolf, he has that, he has that added strength bonus. I'd also like to mention two feats in the Team Wolf movie that basically show Scott McCall's true strength. When he saved that little girl on his back and holds, you know, I don't know the material, it looks like a sandstone, concrete-y type material, he held both of them with his two arms arms, save the girl, save the dog, and then when he's like punching the dirt slash concrete, I can't remember really off the top of my head right now, but he's punching it, and he puts a, a decent sized hole in the ground. But yeah, that's pretty much the two strength piece we saw from Team of the Movie, and again, I do personally believe an alpha adult Scott McCall ranks higher than alpha Peter in terms of strength. Moving on to speed. And when it comes to speed, my personal opinion does not change. A bestial form alpha Peter is super fast. I mean incredibly fast. Arguably the most fastest werewolf we've ever seen in Team Wolf, and let's be real, Let's flash back to the season finale. We literally see Peter speed blitzing everybody. That's self-explanatory. That doesn't change. Alpha Peter in his bestial form and even in his base form, when he's on all fours, still takes speed. I feel Scott McCall, he's fast, but pretty average when it comes to speed. Agility, Scott McCall is very agile. As a teenager, he was but now as an adult, he might not be as, what's, limber? I definitely think he could still be agile, of course, but just not as agile as he once was. Agility, I'll give it to Scott McCall. Speed, I definitely give it to Peter Hale. Moving on to combat. And again, I'm giving this to Scott McCall. As you know, in the show, he showed clear martial art understanding. People like to argue with me about that, but if we flash back to that fight with Kate Arjun, we can literally see Scott using Capoeira moves. Not to mention when he fought Peter Hale in season four. Season four? Season 5? Uh, season 4. He was clearly using martial art skills. But yeah, combat and reflexes clearly goes to Scott McCall. I did make a miscalculation with a certain feat, and that's when he basically uses his reflexes, catches a crossbow arrow. I did the feat wrong. I'll pull up the real speed right here, but that's Scott McCall's reaction time right there. And yeah, it's he can react pretty fast, which makes him pretty much unbeatable when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. And now he's 32. He has 15 years of experience being a werewolf being alpha and of course training where he's physically going to be more equipped hand-to-hand -hand combat wise than 
Peter Hale. I actually think that Scott McCall may have been older than Peter Hale as he is now in this movie than Peter Hale was in season one. So yeah, Scott McCall is now pretty old. Hand to hand combat clearly goes to Scott McCall. Same with IQ. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give a point to Peter Hale as well here because when I say IQ, people think, dude, Peter Hale is so much smarter. That was so cringe. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in the video just so I can laugh at it later on. That's a horrible American accent. I'm so, I, I apologize. But yeah, Peter Hale is smart in the terms of manipulation. Genuine IQ, I'm going to give to Scott McCall. Combat IQ, normal IQ, etc. Goes to Scott McCall. Manipulation IQ goes to Peter Hale. I'm gonna give Peter Hale half a point here. Moving on to durability, I feel I'm gonna give this to Scott McCall as well. In team with the movie, we actually saw Scott McCall purposely put Wolfsbane, a Wolfsbane dagger into him. Then he literally survived it, which is cool and all, but he's very durable. He's able to walk through the woods, get beaten up by Allison, and still pretty much move, which does speak volume to Scott McCall's durability. Not to mention in the show, if we go back previous scenes, Scott McCall is very, very durable, picking up an overcharged Kiryu Kimura. Peter Hale only has like one durability feat, and he didn't even survive that. So durability clearly goes to an adult Scott McCall. Moving on to power, and I'm gonna give it to Scott McCall again. Scott McCall is a true alpha. It takes a lot of power to rise to that status without having to steal. The alpha spark, which it's self-explanatory power, clearly goes to Scott McCall here, and especially adult Scott McCall. I can only imagine his power level only increased over the years. Not much to add here, to be honest, apart from the feats already in the established TV show, like Scott McCall breaking Mountain Ash, Scott McCall resisting Deucalion. These are all great power feats. Even Scott McCall resisting the urge to kill Allison after being basically controlled by Peter Hale to do so. All good power feats that just outweighs Peter Hale. Not saying Peter Hale isn't powerful at all, but when it comes to power, Scott McCall really just clearly ranks over a lot of people here. And that leaves the clear winner of this fantasy fight, adult Scott McCall. And this, by the way, is not and this, by the way, is going against Peter's bestial form. In base form, adult Scott McCall will still mop the floor with him, but in my personal opinion, bestial form or not, adult Scott McCall will mop the floor with any version of Peter Hale that we've seen so far. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Go check out part one of this video, well, technically part one, you could say. And yeah, have an amazing day. Join my Discord server link down below in the description if you want to debate about this even further. Comment down below your thoughts and spin your boy hoax. Have a nice day or night wherever you're from, and peace.